Today we're going to look at a possible World War III scenario and its consequences. Stage 0. Provocation One of the most likely scenarios is that Russia could use tactical nuclear weapons to scare Ukraine. This explosion would kill 30,000 to 40,000 people and create a nuclear cloud that would spread to Europe. According to leaks, the CIA has already been working on this scenario. There is a plan to have NATO troops enter Ukraine. In such a case, a direct military confrontation between the NATO bloc and Russia would begin. Stage 1. Initiation. As the nuclear threshold is crossed, hostilities escalate into a tactical nuclear war in Europe. Russia sends 300 nuclear warheads using airplanes and short-range missiles to hit NATO bases and advancing troops. NATO responds with about 180 nuclear warheads from airplanes. Russia's allies will be involved at this point. North Korea will send some nuclear missiles, not all of which will reach their target. China will also enter the confrontation. Sashualties, 3 million people. With Europe destroyed, NATO launches a strategic nuclear strike of 700 warheads of US land and underwater missiles aimed at Russian and Chinese nuclear forces. Before losing their weapon systems, Russia and China make warning launches, responding with missiles launched from launchers, vehicles, and submarines. Sashualties, 6 million people. At first, nuclear weapons would be used as a method of preventing a retaliatory or second strike. Here it is more correct to speak not about the quantity, but about the quality of casualties. All means of use have priority targets. These are first of all missile launch mines, military facilities, large cities, large industrial enterprises, dams. If power engineers, military government bodies are killed, if power generation and transmission facilities are destroyed, the state will be irreversibly destroyed. In order to prevent the other side from rebuilding, Russia, China, and NATO are striking each other's 30 most populated cities and economic centers using five, 10 warheads in each city depending on the population. At the moment when one side realizes that a nuclear war cannot be won, the war against strategic centers will turn into a war of defeat, the main goal of which is to destroy as many cities, population, paralyzing the enemy, causing her maximum damage. If the goal is complete elimination, then non-standard targets will be attacked. For example, Russia is considering the explosion of super-powerful warheads in the depths of the ocean opposite major coastal cities. The goal is a powerful tsunami that would simply blow away everything in its path. Also, a nuclear strike could hit Yellowstone National Park. That's where North America's supervolcano, or Yellowstone Caldera, is located. A strike on this place would trigger a massive eruption, resulting in irreparable damage to the US and the entire continent. A Yellowstone explosion could release between 1,000 and 2,500 cubic kilometers of solid particles, most of it in the form of ash. On two, 3,000 kilometers around will fall ash layer up to a meter on the rest of the US. Ash layer up to 0.3 meters. The number of dead in the first hours and days is estimated at 50, 80 million people. All infrastructure will be destroyed. Industry and agriculture will disappear. A layer of ash impenetrable to the sun's rays will appear over the planet. It can stay in the atmosphere for at least two, four years. Airplanes will stop flying. Temperatures will drop. Some reports say three, five degrees. Others say 20 degrees. Sashualties, two billion people. Stage two, nuclear fallout. Along with the ash, radioactive fallout will fall all over the planet. The horror of radioactive fallout is its ability to spread radiation over a wide area, affecting people, animals, and the environment. Exposure to high levels of radiation can cause acute radiation sickness, which can lead to symptoms such as nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, and fatigue. In severe cases, radiation sickness can be fatal. Stage 3 Nuclear Winter and Famine The biosphere has been hit so hard that planet Earth will never be the same again. The ecosystem of the equatorial zone, 
which is tuned to almost constant temperatures, will be particularly affected. There, even if the forests are not burned, the higher forms of life are likely to disappear, apparently completely or almost completely. But in the northern regions, the situation will be different and very complicated. Here much will depend on what time of year a nuclear war will occur. During the winter months, much of the fauna and flora is in a state of anabiosis, that about seven billion people could die within two years as a result of a third world nuclear war, which confirms the need for global cooperation to prevent it. Let's say no to any war, and it is better to create something new than to destroy ourselves.